All right, so usually when we're working in a touch designer, we're actually working in the so-called designer mode. And that's where basically out of our network is, where we create operators, where we make our projects and all of that stuff. So the usual touch designer. But if we want to actually show a UI or if we want to send data out to a projector or these kind of things, then usually we want to use the so-called perform mode. And the perform mode is basically where something is being shown like a UI or a part of our network, like a content of our network, but actually our network itself is going to be hidden. So how we access that perform mode is either by clicking this little icon up here or simply by pressing F1 on our keyboard. So if I do that now, you're going to see, we actually just see a window now with a with nothing in it, like it's it's a black screen. And you can see we're still in touch designer, we have slash perform and we have uh, our controls up here, like our Windows controls or Mac if you're on a Mac. So if we actually close this here, we would actually completely close touch designer. So to exit the perform mode, what we can do is just press escape. All right, so what I'm gonna do in this video is very quickly just show you a few different ways how we can set up this perform mode and how we can set up uh, our network so we can send data out to a projector. So usually when you open up Touch Designer, you, you're always in a container. So <clears throat> what a container is basically is just a component that is holding other operators. So that's the same as the base. But if we look at a base, we have uh, many, much less options here. Uh, compared to uh, the container. So here we actually have a lot of different options to set this up. And what the what the, the main difference here is that on the base, we, we actually just, it's sort of a folder just for the network itself, so we can organize our network. But the, the on container, we can actually sort of send data out and display it here. So just as an example, if we add a slider here, we can just add that here and if we go back you can now see we have now a slider inside here and uh, same with a button and now you can see we have a button here i can actually interact with this and that's quite the quite the difference to the base so we can set up different parts of our ui and all these kind of things we can use widgets and we can display them here uh, on the container and <clears throat> so basically if you if you're working with a UI or if you want to send out data to a projector, you are going to be working in containers. This is going to be sort of the usual case for you. Uh, if you just want to display some kind of top in your perform mode, so like a video or, you know, a generative artwork or whatever it is, then usually what you have is some kind of top network here and some kind of final endpoint, which in my case, like in, in most people's cases, is usually a some kind of null. And I usually just call them BG, so for background, right? So now if we want to access this, what we can do is go to look on our parent. So this is our parent and these are the children. What we can do here is uh, just write, instead of out, we can write BG in there. And now you can see it just picks that and, and displays it here in the container. And now what we can do is we can actually change our width and height, but I'm gonna show you now what it looks like right now. So if I press F1 again, you can now see we're showing our top inside of the perform mode. And uh, if I actually want this to fill the whole screen, what I need to do is adjust the resolution here to 1920 by 1080 in my case. That's the resolution of my screen. And now I can show this, but you can still see, like you can't see it down here, but you can see it up no, also not up there, but it's not actually full screen right now. So what we want to do here is we actually want to go to perform. And this is a so-called window comp with a lot of different operators here, which is always in the network by default. But you can also add the window component anywhere in your network manually. Anyways, you can turn off borders here and then actually now it's completely full screen and yeah, you're, you're hiding your taskbar and the uh, controls up there and everything. So we also have a few more options here that we're going to look at in a second. So basically, just to recap, if you want, if you have like, your, usually it's going to be called project one, right? You have your main container here and you want to you want to show whatever you have in there on in your perform mode. All you need to do is to have some kind of endpoint. Usually if you have an out, uh, out 
then it's going to be automatically shown because the default setup here in a look is dot slash out. But if you want a specific operator, you can just write the name of that operator and it's going to be shown in here. And then if, if you have connected this to the perform window comp, then it's, it will be shown in the perform mode, right? If we press F1. So make sure that your width and height are correct here. So that's the first case. Let's say we have a different example where we, where we want to actually display a UI on our main screen, so on this one, and then we want to actually show the visuals on a second screen or a projector. So the projector is, you know, can be your second screen as well, or functions as a second monitor. So the way to do that is to set up a container where we have two children in there that are like next to each other. And each of these children have the uh, display resolution. So in this case, what we want to do is we want to set up our container so it's twice the width of our uh, resolution that we, did, that we want. So 1920 times 2, which is... Uh, 3,840, 3,840, and uh, the height is uh, 1080, right? So if we look in here, what I have is two different and like two more containers. So this is what I was talking about before, right? We can have containers inside containers that are now being shown here and next to each other. And they're next to each other because in the children tab of our parent, I actually changed a line to left to right. And now they're like left to right. And uh, if they're not, if they're somehow different for you, then first you can either change the name because it's always going to look at the an alphabetical or order of your comms. And you can override this by just changing the align order. So if you want this to be left, then, ha then put align order to zero. And here set align order to one. And then this is going to be sort of the one that's on the right. All right, so I uh, just set up uh, a bunch of buttons here with a replicator. And in here we have the same uh, thing as before, just some noise with a BG. And we have that set here, so we're displaying it on the comp. So these are next to each other. So if I now drag this and put this onto the perform power window operator, and if I now go into perform mode, you can see it actually displays the whole thing you know, I, I turned off borders, right? It, it nicely displays over the entire screen. But the thing is, we have sort of like, it's centered, so we can see half of both our children there, which is not what we want. So on our perform, what we can do is we can go to justify horizontal and change that to left. And now we just see the entire interface. So this child here, uh, on my screen, and you can't see this right now, but on my second monitor, I actually see this visual content. So if you were to connect just your uh, projector as a second monitor, then that would be shown there and your interface would be in here. So put all of your interface in this one component and put all of your visual content in the other component. So that's one way you know, creating a parent that is twice the width and then, you know, of the screens. But there might be a case where, for example, either your projector has a different resolution than your main screen. So, for example, my laptop is like 1280 by 720 and my projector is full HD. Then this would not work as well. And the other problem might be that you have two screens, uh, like one screen like that that's your main monitor right your laptop a second screen where you're doing something else and then your projector is actually a third screen or something like that right in that both of these cases what we might want to do is actually add a second window component so i'm just going to show you how to do that so what we could do in this case instead of putting these both in here i i just basically took them out here and created two different components and uh, i can just use one on my comp uh, my perform so if I now go and perform into perform mode, I just have all of my buttons in here. And now what I could do, I could just add a second window component under, you can find that in comms, other. And if I now add that here, it's gonna complain because we actually always need some kind of window operator to refer to. Then, so now we can just use our visual and just put it on here. And um, what we can do now is we can actually open this as a separate window. And now you can see it opens up here. Again, I'm always closing these, by the way, by just pressing escape. 
And what we can do now is first we might want to turn off borders. So now it's actually full screen. And also what we might want to do is change the monitor here. So I'm just going to set this to one. So it's going to be on my second monitor. So if I open this as a separate window, you can't see this now, but this is actually full screen on my second monitor now. And now we can close this here too. I could even set this as a perform window. It's not really necessary. And um, what you can also do is, no, yeah, <laughs> the way, <laughs> what I wanted to show you is if you open this as a separate window and now if I press one, <clears throat> go into perform, into perform mode here, you can see I'm using my UI on this, like on my uh, laptop, and then the visuals is now actually showing on my second screen, which could also be a projector. Or if you know your projector is your third screen, then you could change monitor to two, which for me doesn't work right now, so it's just, it's just gone because I don't have a third or a second monitor connected. So that's kind of the way you can set these things up. One thing that you have to mind here, uh, which which I noticed, is that because you have basically, you're basically recreating two different windows. So if I open this as a separate window on my monitor one, and if I go in he into here, then I have one window that's opened here and one window that's my second, yeah, my second window. <laughs> and the, the thing is about that is that Windows is always prioritizing whatever you have whatever you're focused on. So whenever you click inside of a window, that's the window that's being focused on. And I've, the, the way I understand it is that most of the sort of processing goes into that. So I just noticed like if, you, if you're using a second window on a really demanding project, then sometimes the, the output of that second window uh, doesn't have highest priority, meaning it might stutter or lag. So yeah, in that case, maybe this approach is a bit better. I think generally this approach is a bit better, but uh, I, I definitely wanted you to know you could put this window anywhere in your network. Obviously, this doesn't have to be on the root. So you can always put a window somewhere and simply open it as a separate window to show it on, the, on another screen or on your projector. All right, so I hope that gives you a good basic overview of perform mode and projectors and I hope you enjoyed this video and I see you in the next one.